control. Very nice. Today we are doing the thing that makes me absolutely fall in love with the city again and again. It's just it's like to go. Dining in, dine in is uh, close, uh -huh. but it's mostly the takeaways they usually right now do. Uh, probably they're gonna start the dine in soon. Uh, yeah. Do they have chai? Chai? So this place is a Yazdani bakery and it is one of my favorite stops on this morning cycle ride because it's famous for this thing called bun masca which is basically just buttered bread with chai but i don't know it's like way better than any butter bread or tea i've had and it's so comforting it's closed for like dine-in but they're still toasting the bread and i think they're gonna arrange some chai so i'm just gonna wait for the sun to come up a little further and then take you along for this morning cycle ride i don't even think i said what we were doing we're going on a, a morning our love letter to Mumbai it goes from pitch black, which it was about like five ten minutes ago, to being really light. It happens really quick, but this is a very cool experience. We used to love doing this because you get to see Mumbai waking up. The morning doesn't start until you've had a cup of chai. But it doesn't start that day without a chai. <laughs> That's what you just said. Morning. Yeah. Actually, back in the days, uh, they were serving the fresh bread. That's why it was warm. Mm. Oh. Uh, not that this is old, but it's not as fresh. Yeah, that's why you had a feeling of they were being toast, but it was actually fresh from the oven. I'm not gonna lie, this nonsense. is not doing it for me in the same way. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. You and I got lots of patience, lots of lifetimes waiting on ourselves. Are you tired now? Tired now, it takes time to tell. The guy's, the guy's literally just like strolling down the street while reading a newspaper. I love the city so much. You see that guy walking down the street reading a newspaper? That was amazing. All right, got some fresh dough that's being cooked in. This is the best way to see Mumbai in the morning. It's just like, you just got to ride around. There's just like so much to look at. I love it. This area is called Fort, and it's like a bunch of different winding small alleys. This isn't going to be like a historical video or like even that informative. However, what am I trying to say? That's gonna be some really good headcount footage there. If you're watching this and you are coming to Mumbai and you're interested in doing something like this, we're doing it because I used to work for a company called Reality Tours and Travel that offers a morning cycle ride that we've all done dozens of times. Like, how many times do you think you've done it? Ah, uh, geez, I don't even remember. I guess it's probably hundreds more i mean hundreds hundreds and hundreds of times yeah one of my favorite tours that's my our, our friend uh yeah. but also a former colleague anyway you could sign up and do that with them and get lots of history we just love cycling around so we just picked up some bikes and we're gonna go enjoy and hopefully you'll enjoy seeing some of it too What's your favorite thing about Mumbai? Mm, I guess, uh, I think it's, I think the city itself, like how it is just fast paced and I love that. Although I mean, I have traveled around uh, India, but uh, usually most of the places, they usually close uh, by around eight or nine. So, and in Mumbai, I mean, the, yeah, it's, Mumbai is well known for its, Mumbai doesn't sleep. So I, that is the one thing which I love about it. This is a Victoria Terminus CST, Chattabadji Chibadji Terminus, by the way. As I said, not a history tour, but a beautiful train station. 
and there's a million other YouTube vlogs of people that come here. Lit up at night, it's gorgeous. The fact that New York is supposed to be called the city that doesn't sleep, I mean, Mumbai just puts that to shame. No comparison. This morning, like, even though it's way quieter than normal, you wouldn't know that it was 5.30 when we were walking to get the bikes. I mean, you would. There were, like, people brushing their teeth and cleaning the cars and stuff, but then when you actually think about how many people we saw on a two-block walk from 5.30 to 5.45, 5.45 to 6, whatever it was, it was a lot of people. I'm rambling. Let's keep biking. Good morning. Cycling to sharpen knives. Sometimes they're on like actual cycles. Love it. We're at Crawford Market, uh, which is a big famous vegetable, mar vegetable market in Mumbai. Also, the first place that there was electricity in India, maybe? But it's totally different than when we were last here because they're renovating inside, so it's all moved outside. But anyway, we'll go check it out. Good job, this has got like really good stabilization because my head is all over the place. It's so much busier. I wish you could smell it in here. It smells so good and I feel like people often mention the smells in India and more often than not they're talking about the like not so pleasant ones. People don't often enough mention stuff like this walking through a fresh fruit market or a flower market that we're gonna see soon. So every time you smell sewage or trash or something like that, cow poop, just know that around the corner there's something that smells absolutely delicious. Love never had a hold on me, but when she finally slips away. She left me bound. So the area we're driving through now is called the Saveri Bazaar. And the one thing I remember about this is that it's a gold market. And there's people brushing the street. And they brush to find little bits of gold to then like melt and sell. So when you see like... And then we watched this crazy documentary where they like went into the like sewers. Anyway. That's the only fact you get about this area. We're also gonna pass by Mumbai Devi Temple, which is Mumbai's namesake. Hey, I just found something. What is it? Oh, it's my wedding ring. <laughs> Someone is not gonna be happy. <laughs> well, where will they? <laughs> Freedom! The food, obviously. Um, but no, I think I was right. There's like an energy and a vibrancy here that I don't think I've experienced anywhere except maybe New York. It's the same kind of like, it just feels alive in a way that a lot of cities just can't match. Yeah, what's yours? <laughs> <laughs> my my old thought it was him, but um, he's he's a close second. I the people, I mean the people, the people, the food, the people, the energy. So we might as well be brave. We can be bad and good. All right, so whenever whenever we used to do these bike rides, I always took out the workhorse bike of Mumbai, which is called, what are they called? Those Koda bike, which is right Koda? behind us. Koda cycle. Yeah. Koda cycle. Um, I love them, and you'll see them a lot in this video, but uh, unfortunately the guy that we rent the bikes from doesn't have it any anymore, so I wasn't able to get one. So I'm on a normal mountain bike, which is a bit boring, but I used to love, and the reason why I loved it was like, I would just pretend that I was like doing some deliveries or whatever. So I used to enjoy ringing the bell and just pretending to be a local. Now we're just gonna get a chai, one of the famous around the street. And the interesting part is uh, we're gonna be having a tea in a local cup, which is called as uh, Kullad. Uh, and it's made up from uh, uh, mud, like 
Clay, yeah, sorry, the clay is the word. And this, this looks something like this. This could be coming from Dharavi also, uh, where there is one of the biggest uh, clay pot market around uh, Mumbai. So, possibly. Where I am living, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, cheers. Bilkul uh, This is impressive. There is something. Mayar keeps paying for our teas and bread and whatever, but there's something he's saying to them. I only know the word paisa, money. It's like only take my money or something, but they they refuse to take Pete's money. Like when he says it, like if you say that in America and you try to get the bill, like the waiter gets like all awkward and he's like doesn't know what to do. And, oh, I don't know what to take. Whatever Mayor is saying, and maybe it's the fact that he just speaks Hindi, uh, they're like refusing. Very impressive. My dad would be very impressed with it. Look at this. Uh, it's got like fresh saffron on top. Saffron, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've ever had chai with saffron on top. I mean, this place. Speaking of wonderful smells, we're now passing through this like flower alley where you can buy a bunch of flowers. And I picked up a director of photography, it's the woman back there. I was <laughs> just like in my ear telling me all the shots I should get. Recreate a photo of me and my own because it was at the end of this market back in like 2016 when we came to visit and we surprised my all. It was really fun because we booked a bicycle tour back in 2016. We surprised my all and our former colleague Asim. Uh, we booked this bicycle tour and we didn't tell them that we were coming. We're just at this place, which I think is like one of the most unique places in all of Mumbai. We're not supposed to be filming. It's called Bombay Pandrapal, and it's like a shelter for like, I don't know, hundreds of cows. There's so many cows, and they're so beautiful, and you can feed them. Hi! <laughs> so what I was saying is that is uh, Bombay Pandrapal, and like, it's in the middle. The middle of the city. You saw where we just were. What? Yeah, just don't turn the camera Oh, there's some urinals over there. Um, like I said, middle of the city, but like one of the most peaceful places of any city I've ever been to, which is another thing I think we love about Mumbai. It's crazy and it's chaotic and it's loud, and then you turn a corner and it's the opposite of all of those things. It's got it all. Have we mentioned that we love Mumbai? Wait, you love Mumbai? about nine o'clock and the city is definitely way more awake now which means that I'm getting a little bit less confident in my cycling skills but it would not be a cycle ride through Mumbai without stopping at a marine drive. Hey thanks for carrying my bike up that bridge. So anyway we're making our way to a marine drive. Which one? That one. That's a, it's a hospital, isn't it? Yeah. What's the, which one is it? It's a Safety Hospital. Its name is Safety Hospital. Safety Hospital. I used to always be a fun game when we lived here and we drove by at night and it's like all lit up. It does not look like a hospital. It looks like a palace. palace. We'd ask our visiting friends what they thought it was. morning cycle ride. If you're coming to Mumbai and you're interested in this experience, I will leave in the description how 
to book an actual tour. Uh, if you're not a morning person, while I lived here, I also created a midnight cycle ride, which is incredible. And speaking of things I started while I was here, I started a pretty awesome street before. Woo! Um, and that's gonna be our next video. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And we appreciate you watching this one. And we love Mumbai. We encourage you to love Mumbai. And this has been so fun. And thank you to our friend Mayor, who's always been amazing for like almost 10 years now. We've been doing this together. Do visit Mumbai. Do visit Mumbai and uh, definitely do the bike tour and ask for me if you want to survive. Let's go! <laughs>